thrilled to have you here, Eunice. Uh, wish it were better news. Hope it's not COVID this time again. Yeah, so that's um, one of the uh, rumors that's been going around, but still just a rumor. Yeah. Uh, children's wards are getting so crowded in some cities that parents are swapping advice online to bring camping equipment and folding chairs to make the wait more comfortable. Emergency fever clinics have told local media to expect waiting times of half a day. China is battling a wave of respiratory illnesses that has raised fears of emergence of a new pathogen. Chinese health officials, though, say that this is a mix of viruses and bacterial infections that are reported and known in other countries uh, uh, viruses such as RSV. Now, the, H the WHO backs Beijing's perspective, uh, saying that there is no novel pathogen here. Instead, they've been arguing that China is coping with what most countries dealt with a year or two ago. Uh, schools in some cities have suspended classes. Businesses, though, have remained open, and the government is advising mask wearing, vaccinations, ventilation, and social distancing. No shutdown so far. Um, officials are warning that the outbreak could last into the spring. We all have familiarity with this. Last yep. year was a nightmare. Every single month, there was something new ravaging households and going around schools. So I guess the, in that sense, we shouldn't be too surprised if that's what this is, unless there's something new about it or something that could become new as a result that could then make its way back around. Right, and I think that that question is what people are worried about because in China, there's just been this trauma because of the pandemic as well as the lockdown, so people aren't so sure if they should believe whatever the government is saying, especially on health issues. And then, of course, overseas, this is another big issue. So. And it's interesting what you say. I mean, half-day waiting times. It, people in that, the, as we've heard, there's this PTSD already from just yeah. how bad the, the lockdowns were. So maybe they don't officially call it lockdowns now, but to have to go back through that must be traumatic. And I even have to wonder if it's going to have reverberations on the economy. Yes, I've um, thought before that it would be a really interesting study that will likely never happen mm. about the impact. Mm -hmm. of um, all of these lockdowns on um, even not only the economics, but also the, the mental health toll that's, that's happened in China. But in terms of the economics, it's it's already such a, a rough place um, from a an optimism standpoint, from a young person standpoint. People are always worried about their jobs. They're saying that there just aren't that many. Um, people don't really feel as though their prospects are great, and a lot of this is because of the three years of lost income. Do you get the sense anyone is kind of putting off big rebound travel plans or or things because of these this latest bout of illnesses? Well, that was one sort of bright spot, um, the travel. So we were seeing a big surge in travel, well, relatively so, but it's still not necessarily something that people feel that they could do because of all of these these um, illnesses at the moment. Um, we were talking also about the economy. One other thing is that we have not seen the kind of inflows of foreign investment as we've had in the past. Right, um, right. In fact, it's been negative. Um, foreign direct investment has been has turned negative. Amazing. Which was huge. And a lot of it is because the complaints that I hear from, from foreign executives is that, yes, we have had concerns when we've done our business in China. Um, unfair playing field is a big one. People have said that it's really rough, but at the same time, now they have to deal with not only the slowing economy, but also the fear of detentions, exit bans, and all these added, Absolutely. These added unknowns. Yeah, it's a very different uh, period now for the China. And maybe after the summit that we had the you know last week, APEC and all that, we can kind of turn a corner again, but uh, this won't help. Eunice, for now, thanks. We appreciate it. Eunice, you here on set, as I mentioned. Still ahead.